should say numbers 27 through 30. Okay, here we go. We're doing 27 through 30. We're going to use this chart over here on the right to tell us how many ounces are in a pound, how many quarts are in a gallon, how many feet are in a yard, and so on. So which one are we trying to do first? Convert 63 yards to feet. The thing you start with right on the far left and include the units, 63 yards. You multiply by some fraction where the unit that you want to go away goes in the bottom, and the unit that you want to show up goes up in the top. All right? Look at your chart for how many feet are in one yard. I believe it's three feet per one yard. It's listed right here. Okay. The unit yards will cancel out. The yards unit will cancel out because the yards cancel the yards. Top versus bottom. They have a battle and they go away. Who shows up? Feet. So we will get to feet. When the one is in the bottom and the three is in the top, you multiply these. 63 times three. 63 times three. Is that 189? So 189 feet are in 63 yards. The answer should make sense. Um, since there's three feet in a yard, if I run on the football field 63 yards, I've gone 189 feet. That answer makes sense to me. That looks like a good, uh, good problem. 28. What you start with, put on the left. Four miles. Where you want to finish goes on the far right. We want to get it to inches. As you look through this chart, over here on the right, is there a direct relationship between miles and inches? Do you see any that say miles, inches, miles, inches? I think the answer to that question is no. There are none that go from miles directly to inches. Is there a throughway? Is there a connection between miles and feet and feet and inches? This is one of those double conversions. You're going to have to change miles into feet and then who do you want to go away? What do you want to show up? Inches up top cancels the feet in the bottom. So we're going to want the miles to cancel the miles. Gone. The feet to cancel the feet. And who shows up? Inches. All that blue stuff's going to go away so we can put our numbers in. Let's start with the relationship between feet and miles. One mile is 5,280 feet. Okay. What about inches and feet? How much is one foot? Yell it out. Twelve inches. Are all the ones in the bottom? So just multiply this times this times that. Four times 5280 times 12. Four times 5280 times 12. What'd you get? I got 63,360 inches, okay? 63, does that make sense? If I walk four miles home from school, that's far, right? Should the answer be a lot of inches? Yes, inches are little. So if I walked four miles, that's a lot of inches, okay? It's a lot of miles to walk to, I agree. 